Ah, weary YouTube traveler, welcome. Have you ever heard the tale of Hey J versus the Griffin? Well, it's an epic battle amongst this weird monster, a J and his Zack. Welcome back, Classy Crew, to another journal in Dragon's Dogma. A very eventful one, as I have slain my first griffin. And I, well, actually, I don't know if I should say first griffin. It might be the only griffin in the game. I kind of hope it's the only griffin in the game. Because an epic fight it was, and I don't want this diluted by fighting other griffins. The first thing I got to say is I've been streaming this game now for about a month. To be fair, once a week, but still a month. And I'm getting a little, like, I don't know if I'm going to be stuck in this city for the rest of the game. But it feels like I want the game to to move on from locale. I'm used in my art, you know, in RPGs, I'm used to going from place to place, having a little bit of difference. But here it seems like everything just, you keep bouncing out of the capital city, back into the capital city, and everything just revolves around the capital city, which I guess makes sense. But we've only had a little town, an encampment, and a city. Are you telling me that's all this world has to offer? I was expecting a grand journey and maybe I'm just being impatient, but I feel like the game's tempo at this point should be moving us on to something new. So if you have been keeping up to date, I have uh, gone an audience with the king and the king's right hand guy who takes his work very seriously has told me that I have to go fight a griffin or investigate some guy named Furnival and why he's guilty and whatever. So I'm like, yeah, griffin sounds more interesting. Let's go fight that. So I go out the, I'm going out the, uh, the, the, the gates with a group of men and they're all like, oh yeah, we're going to go fight the griffin. We go up to town, the griffin shows up and we're like, oh my God, let's hit it. But the problem with a griffin is it flies and I've only got a massive shield and a mace, which neither of which fly or have range. So I felt very limited in how I could fight this thing. I couldn't really do much. I pulled out my little magic ball that I smack. Turns out it has no verticality, so I can't do anything. I was really hoping blue and classy could, you know, shoot this thing down, but it wasn't doing much. I was trying to like jump on it when it would fly close to a rock. What ended up happening, Zach and I were pretty much flailing everywhere and it just wasn't working. At one point, in fact, the griffin picked Zack up and tossed him over the cliff. So this is becoming a thing where I'm not the only one that enjoys tossing a Zack over the cliff. Another thing, which this I feel is fault of the game, you know, a big griffin's coming at you, you've got a massive shield. What are you gonna do? I'm hearing Rurikon from like the other side of the planet going like, shields up. And so I lifted my shield and the griffin didn't care. He just plowed right through and hurt me. So what is up with that? What is the point of having a massive shield if it's not going to shield you from anything? It worked in Monster Hunter. Here it doesn't work. So I've also got tossed around a little bit by the griffin. He tossed me once up in the air, which I realized, oh, that's a really deadly move. When he picks you up and then he drops you from, he, he basically gives you fall damage, which would be very cool in Monster Hunter, but then you would have to enable fall damage, which would be very uncool. So this was uh, a first scuffle, and I really thought the fight was going to end here. Uh, so I was just whittling him away. At one point, I was like on the rock, and I went to like smash the griffin, and I went through the griffin somehow, and on the other side was the ledge of the cliff. So I fell off the cliff that Zack got tossed down, and somehow I survived. And I was able to find Zack's corpse, which was moments away from disappearing. So I was able to save Zack, hustle back up, wham on the griffin a bit, and after its first health bar was down, he flew away to his nest in a faraway tower. And so this is where things got interesting because I'm like, ooh, okay, I got a taste for what this griffin's all about. Now it's time to hunt him down, get ready, go to his home and beat him up his, in his home. So back to the capital city I went, uh, stocked up on all of the healing things I could. And then um, off I went on a pretty long treacherous journey through one of the worst places, which is like a canyon with bandits on top, which basically shoot you. Like who decided to put a pathway through a canyon that made you so vulnerable to ambushes? I must have been ambushed three to four times in this bandit hallway. So anyways, um, that journey cost me a lot in health items. And what's worse is halfway through it, when it got dark, I realized I forgot my lantern. I left it back in town in my chest at the inn. So I have no lantern, I'm running low on potions, and I arrived to the tower where the griffin is, and I was like, well, let's see what happens. I can sort of see what's going on. So 
I can still make my way through and we still got blue that can heal me and I'm sure I'm gonna pick up some herbs like if this is a dungeon they're gonna leave some potions out for noobs like me also I've learned at this point the Zac that I've been traveling with is absolutely horrendous. This Zack is garbage. I don't like him. He was dying all the time. So luckily at the start of the tower, there's a massive stone that you can, well, where you can get other pawns. So I decided to trade my Zack out, got a new Zack, a little bit more leveled. I was like, well, on my way into the thing, you cross a bridge that's over water. I was like, I got like the sudden urge to toss this Zack into the water. I was like, should we make this a thing? Should we baptize all the Zacks we get? And the chat voted yes. So I tossed this Zack over the bridge. We baptized him. I brought him back because the summon stone was close. And into the tower we went. This was a pretty uh, uneventful dungeon. It wasn't too big. You kind of made your way through it. It was kind of spooky because it was dark. But anyways, at one point there's like these gates and the griffin shows up. And he's like, uh, and your buddies are there too. Like just these people, the NPCs are there. And the griffin is basically attacking you. You got nowhere to go and you're supposed to smash on the door, break it open so you can keep going. And he's like destroying the castle as he's attacking you. It was very stressful. And through this process, I've actually lost my two ranged fighters, Blue and Classy. I lost the mage, I lost the ranger. Uh, by the time I made it through that segment, the next part is setting up for the battle arena. I have half my life. I only have a Zac, no ranged fighters, very little potions. I'm like so screwed. I, I pretty, I was so convinced there was nothing I could do uh, to win this fight. But I was like, you know what? Let's just see what happens. Let's get a sense for the fight. So I go into the arena and I just start fighting this thing. I'm like, whatever. I got some experience. I'm sure I can survive. Just got to dodge, bring him down. And then out of nowhere, I did not see this coming at all. But freaking Stefan, do you remember Stefan from Journal 1? The guy from the town that I gave my, a book to and I wasn't sure what to do if he was going to be bad. Out of nowhere, this guy runs in and he's like, hey, friend, I got you. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so glad I gave you a book. And he pulls out his book and he starts casting like fire spells at the griffin. And I was uh, like literal dopamine was hitting me because I was like, Stefan is going to be the key that turns us around the guy that I didn't trust. It turns out it was like a good gamble. And so now like I'm getting, okay, now there's hope. I've got Stefan. We got things going. And then um, I was using, uh, I was learning how to use my spell. So I took out my wand because the wand can shoot in vertical ways. And I was just casting like really big fire spells on his wings because people were telling me, oh, you want to burn his wings. And I succeeded. The wings were burnt. He was taking a lot more damage. Now he couldn't fly anymore. So Zach and I are bashing on him. And at that point, that, that, the easy part was, uh, the hard part was over. And I was actually able to kill um, the Griffin. And I got, actually got like some good loot. There was a bunch of chests everywhere. Like this felt like the most significant part of Dragon's Dogma. It, it, Every chapter is like this, where you, there's a monster, there's a massive fight, and there's loot. Sign me up. This is way better than the little quest I was doing. And so I got the Griffic armor, which uh, has like some elements of the griffin in it, which I love because now it's like, yeah, I hunted this thing. Look, I'm wearing parts of it. It's very monster hunter-esque. So this was like just such a good, fun story of not one-sided at all. Like it felt like it could have went either way. And uh, so then I went back to the castle, got my, let him know, let the guy know that I did my thing. And uh, now the next thing is Furnival. So the Furnival's in some hot water. People are accusing him of doing some pretty nasty stuff. And I got to go around town figuring out if this guy's innocent or guilty. I don't know if it's going to be like Chrono Trigger where you like the opening trial you do at the start of the game, but really looking forward to seeing what that's about. Also, at one point, the camera panned in the store. We got a little cutscene of a group of like seven or nine um, what looked like mercenaries and you only saw them from behind looking at me from afar and it was set up like anime antagonists like just getting ready I was like what is this about um, so I was warned that someone's watching me and then we saw the back of these uh, guys so I don't know if there's like a band of like Ginyu Force that's tracking me down or what's going on but you know the um, the anticipation there's more mystery being developed in this in this game and i'm really curious to see what's going to happen so that's where i'm at next time i'll be investigating some stuff going on in town maybe i'm going to get ambushed by these guys and we're going to find out who these antagonists are but griffin down if you fought him let me know how the experience was for you because i heard some people killed this thing before it flew away to its nest so i mean that would have been a really um not so good experience anyways i will see you on my next journal and until next time keep it classy